My name is Dan Timmerman. I'm doing a bike race, Cyclocross National Championships in Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, yeah, doing my thing. I've had an up and down season, but I'm, uh, I've done everything I'm supposed to do leading into this. Trying to put it back together, and um, it all has gone well. So all I can do from here is just try as hard as I can. Um, I'm gonna have a good start. I'll be front row, so um, should be all good. Um, I really like the course, so and it really suits me. The conditions also really suit me. So you know, like I said, all I can do is just get out there and do the best I can. So. They did an amazing job with the course. Um, even if even if we didn't have the conditions we have right now, it still would be a really awesome course. Um, you know, the venue the venue's amazing. You know, it's a beautiful spot here. So I'm a fan. I think it's great. Sam wants to be interviewed. I think. I don't. No, I have nothing to say. Sorry. Hello. It's like uh, okay. I'm gonna get out there on the mud tires and see how they are next lap, next free ride. And then um, go from there. Definitely a big potential for it to change a lot, though. But it's good because we'll it's a good course to, go course to begin with and get some pretty good conditions. It's going to be pretty solid. clean and, and working well and kind of make adjustments on the fly for tire choice. Uh, we're starting with mud tires right now but with this wind the course is drying out pretty quick uh, so I think we're we might be going to the all conditions tire we'll kind of see as the, the day goes on. Mostly when they're coming through the pit it's just to get a clean bike. Um, we can certainly do pressure adjustments but uh, we do enough pre-riding that we're, we're pretty set where we want to be when we start. Probably be in the low 20s today, maybe 22, 24. Um, on, a, on a dry, hard day, we might go as high as 27 in the rear. Um, kind of depends on what he likes and what tire we're running. Yeah, I'm gonna start. As of right now, I'm gonna be riding the Kenda quicker, and then uh, if it does dry up significantly, I'll probably switch over to the Kenda Commando X. Um, but I don't know. The course has got enough elevation and off camera that I think the, the quicker is probably going to be the better option.
my cleat was coming off my shoe from about that point on and I just I'm just really tired man just super tired so, I don't know I wanted to make sure I just finished it so I did that um, you know so I'm happy about that and now I can call it quits and take a break and try to focus on next year I don't know I'm hoping I'm hoping to get a you know two or three weeks of pretty solid nothing um, and then after that you know I'd like to I mean I gotta talk to my coach about it but I gotta uh, I gotta expect that it's gonna be pretty white for a while after that so, and then just focus on training for next cross season.